Hello guys, today I'm see Coaster here. Um, just trying to get the good camera angle. There we go. Here. Slightly lower it. Um, this video is going to be some trick or, or some things um that I recommend y'all change on Windows 10. Um and that's y'all should do to keep y'all's computer safe. Now, if you've always wondered how to get the My Computer um, desktop icon on your desktop, where well, you're going to right click the desktop, you're going to hit Personalize. It's going to bring you to this wheel, and then you're going to actually want to go to um, go to Themes. And go to themes and then desktop icon setting and then hit my computer and then I'm not going to allow themes to change the icons and then I'm going to hit apply I'm going to hit ok next now I usually it's called this PC on Windows 10 on Windows 7 Windows 8 Windows 8 I believe uh, 8 8.1 and 10 it's called this PC but Seven and below it's called uh, my computer. So now what you're going to do is go to your that icon that you made. You're going to, want to right click it and hit properties. It's going to bring up the control panel system security and system. Right here it says advanced system settings. I want you to click on that. Um, user account controllable pop up. Hit yes. Now, go over to performance and hit settings, and then advanced, and then change. This will be automatically checked for automatically managed paging file for all drives. Untick that. And then you want to make sure your C drive is system managed size. Hit set and then OK. Since the changes you have made require you to restart the computer before they can take effect, we'll hit OK. Hit apply and OK. Then here's startup and recovery hit settings. Now automatically restart will be ticked. That that's a case if the computer blue screens, um, it will automatically restart. But you want to be able to read that error message. So untick automatically restart and hit OK. It says Windows might not be able to uh, might not be able to record details that could help identify system errors. Because your current paging files is disabled or less than 200 megabytes. Click OK to return to the virtual memory settings window. Enable the paging file and the set the size to a value over 200 megabytes. Or to click cancel to um, change your system dump selection. Um, I'm going to hit OK. And then what you want to do is system protection. And then go to, it's going to say local C drive system. Hit configure. If yours is bigger than 1%, I recommend you bring it down all the way to 9.31 gigabytes. Um, and then hit apply. This is technically using 10 gigabytes. So system restore, which if your computer were to blue screen, keep blue screening and you were able to get in. To like the F8 system on Windows 7, 8. Um, I believe Windows 10 has something like that. Um, you can actually, um, you can actually bring it, um, bring it down, um, or you can go use that system restore point and go back to the uh, date and time. Um, of a uh, uh, past time that your computer was working and hopefully that fixes your computer and while you're out of the screen hit delete and hit continue if your computer is still working now if you're doing this on fresh install I would re really recommend you do this and then it's going to delete all the restore points that are on your computer um, Mine's about got about 6.66 gigabytes. Now it says the, the restore points were deleted successfully, so it's at zero bytes. 
which is good. So you're going to hit OK. Hit Remote. It says allow remote assistance connections to this computer. I would untick that. The only thing that if y'all need help fixing your computer, um, I I have Team Viewer, um, or I'm gonna be ins installing back Team Viewer. Um, that's the only thing that I require for y'all to have. I do not do any Microsoft uh, remote assistance because um, I just don't don't. Uh, feel comfortable using theirs. Hit apply and hit OK. It says you must restart your computer to, uh, to apply these changes. Hit restart later. I also recommend you go to your control panel and go down to um, just click system and securities and then hit or uh, systems and securities and then I'm believe see this is a bit different on this one than on Windows XP Windows 7 so you want to go to appearance and personalization and click file explorer options hit view and then untick the hide extensions for known file types now yes it's going to know about exe executable files uh, um, some word documents stuff like that but if you if you have a virus or you want to see what type of file that is being sent to you through your email. Um, if it's an EXC file or whatnot, do not run it. Because the thing of it is, is then they can have your data and everything. And that's just bad. So just hit apply, hit OK. And I believe that's about it. Um, yeah, that's that's all it. it. One more thing, though. You want to go to administrative tools. You want to double click on where it says um, computer management. User account control will pop up. Hit yes. If it is going, if it has to install a snap in, then that is your first time running um, the computer management uh, tool on your computer. You can also if you want to know about a quicker way, just go ahead and exit out all these windows. Right click your this PC and just hit manage. User account control will pop up and it's the same thing. You just click yes and it'll take you. It's a faster way to get there. Um, then I want you to click device manager. You may, and, and, and most computer geeks would know if you see any triangles on here then that means that the drivers are not up to date but I want you to hit view and show hidden devices because some stuff wants to hide from you the, the non-crucial stuff will be in the hidden stuff which is for me it's not what I want to be done to me so we're going to do that and no no triangles are for me so I can hit exit and there you go you have made successful security changes to Microsoft Windows 10 um, to help protect yourself much better from online hackers, security threats, viruses, and other threats. Now, every so often, you want to go to Windows Defender and run a full scan on your computer and do also do an offline scan, which it will get deeper into your computer. Um, I might make a separate video on that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Till next time, peace.